In the near future, will natural gas fuel the huge engines of cruise ships and cargo vessels? What are the advantages and possible disadvantages? At this research facility in Copenhagen, a unique ship's engine has been developed. Powered by both diesel and liquefied natural gas, the engine's been designed to reduce the emissions of gases like carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxides. Its performance differs little from normal diesel engines, say the scientists from the European research project involved. They will have an extra uh, screens uh, to monitor on our uh, operation panel. Uh, the only function they are going to take care of is more or less to press gas uh, when desired. The biggest challenge, researchers say, was to develop new components from new materials that would still be safe and reliable. The gas is under pressure, about 300 bar. And uh, we have a uh, double wall system consisting of an inner pipe and an outer pipe. The outer pipe is ventilated. And we are monitoring the flow and we are monitoring the, the, the gas. Uh, so we are able to see if there should be any gas leakages uh, in the system. So how do scientists see what's actually happening inside the engine when gas is injected? We've used a high-speed camera like this, uh, together with an endoscope like this, to actually look inside the interior of the engine. We've increased our understanding of how uh, the natural gas, which comes in at high pressure, is being ignited uh, by the diesel pilot inside the engine. And this, of course, allows us to optimize, uh, for example, timings or geometrical arrangements of the different injectors in order to uh, ignite the gas as efficiently as possible. Over 100 of these engines have already been sold to ship owners refitting their fleets. Buyers are convinced that, in a sector constantly submitted to ever stricter environmental regulation, their investment will eventually pay off. You have to look at the long picture. We have a vessel that's going to operate in between 25 and 30 years, and then you, in this ECA zone, where you can't burn any high sulfur fuel anymore. So in that perspective, we see it as a win-win situation. The researchers are looking ahead. The technology for 100% natural gas engines exists, they say. Now the market needs to adapt. We need to see that uh, supply systems and uh, bunkering systems are available in, in large scale for LNG. Uh, when that is the case and you have a safe supply and also a price structure which is safe and reliable, then people will like to go to a situation where they run 100% on gas. And with around 99% of the world's commercial fleets powered by diesel, the market potential of these engines is there to be exploited, researchers conclude.